Well, some big changes are coming from the Archdiocese of St. Louis, including the possibility of several churches closing. Parishioners can now voice their opinions about the issue. Fox News' Mallory Thomas spoke with parishioners about their concerns. The Archdiocese is in the middle of their listening sessions where they're getting feedback from church members. Officials say nothing is set in stone yet about which churches could potentially be merging, but people are still worried about the future. Buildings where generations come together to grow their faith. Some families soon may have to find a new church to call home. It's tough, and I think... Uh... People are, like I said, pretty upset about it. Will O'Shea is concerned about the All Things New proposal and the impact it could have on younger generations. You know, the people who are starting families are maybe have fallen away from the church when they're, you know, in their 20s or whatever and want to come back. It's tough to say, oh, come back, welcome you in when the church right up the street from you is closed. Data from the Archdiocese shows fewer people attending Mass now, and there are less priests today than there were in the past, which affects the more than 170 churches in the area. These are some of the points discussed in each parish's listening sessions. A statement from the Archdiocese says much of the individual feedback is coming from the survey parishioners have the opportunity to complete after their listening session. The survey includes open-ended questions so members can share their thoughts on the changes. Will plans on attending a listening session soon to share his concerns about merging some of the churches together. Sure, geographically it makes sense, you know, they're close by and whatever, but at the end of the day it's not, it's not that simple. And that's, I think, the issue is all, the people on All Things New don't know the area. The listening sessions are still happening for some churches. You can still give feedback through the survey that will remain open through the end of the year. In St. Louis, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.